Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build the Ishin Roarer 120mm quad. So I'm going to use this frame which I've reviewed before. DYS 6500 kV motors, the Pico BLX clone. I'm going to use the Racer Star 18 Ampere 4-in-1 ESC controller. The transmitter, I'm going to use this Innova VTX clone. It's going to work together with the Pico BLX. And the highlight of this build is the Runcam Micro Swift camera. So this is the first micro quadcopter. It's actually between micro to mini because this is a 120 millimeters quadcopter, but I'm going to use it in this build and I'm very excited to start building it and see how this mini camera will perform. So let's start building this quadcopter. So everything is almost set, I've already connected to Betaflight and configured all the modes and checked that the motors are placed correctly and in addition I bind this FR Sky receiver to my Taranis and the most exciting thing right now I'm going to connect the Runcam Micro. So I finished building this quadcopter and I had some problems with this flight controller and VTX but I'm not going to go through all the settings and what I did because I think that if you want an easy build go for the Ishin Mini Cube and just add an a VTX like the VTX03 because just going to make the build more simple and I don't think that using this VTX is my it's better I just had some old parts that I had to use that's why I use this Pico BLX clone with this VTX the weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 74.6 grams. If we add in this 400 mAh battery, it's 96.5 grams. And if we add in this 450 mAh 3 cells battery, it adds up to 113.7 grams. So in my test flight, I'm going to use these two LiPo batteries and I'm going to see how it performs. So stay tuned for the test flight because I'm really excited to try this new micro swift fpv camera so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you soon on my next videos goodbye